Okay, let's go. Hi, my name is Imani. I'm nine and I'm from Canada. I came to Ghana with my family and to explore and see if we would like to move here. Um, right now we're staying in an apartment, but we're right. But right now we're in the vacation really, and we're in a resort. And we're visiting here because my parents wanted to invest here to see if they would like to build something here. Okay, so so far when you came here, <clears throat> what what have you seen? I saw a lot of animals. I saw chickens and horses. I also saw a lot of buildings that people were building and a lot of street vendors who sold food and drinks. Okay, so um, if you would like to give a message to any, any of your mates in Canada, what are you going to tell them about Ghana? It's that it's very hot and there's a lot of summer and it's very nice and sometimes there's really nice breezes and there's a lot of nice clothing and pieces that you can buy here and there's a lot of nice people. Okay, so I want you to say shout outs to your parents. Anybody, anybody you want to okay. say shout outs to? Shout out to my parents and my sister and also my auntie and my favorite cousins who are all my cousins and my friends and everyone I know. Okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, Thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This is Eko Simpson. So today I came out with a family from Canada. They wanted to see the Asebo Pan-African village. And then we came up to Mr. Lane's apartment. So they're taking a tour. So this video is just to show you the level Mr. Lane has got into. So the down floor is fully finished. Everything is done. Uh, he's now concentrating on the upper floor. And uh, let me tell you this good news. I've seen electricity poles being mounted in a sable. So very soon you will get electricity and then we're good to go. Thank you for checking me out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, I get sick. Well, I'm here, I lost a lot of weight. Oh, and all that. but I'm still alive. And I'm okay. Is you here? I've lived in this house for five months okay. where I was in another town and started building from there and then I moved here just when I had one room mm -hmm. and shelter from the rain. I didn't even have the, the, the roof on yet where I wanted to be close to the, to the ground. <coughs> so I moved in and that's what most people are doing now. They're not waiting until their house is completed. Yes, they move they're moving in. in already. Yes, because it's bad when you're you here on site. Yeah. See everything that's going on. Okay, yeah. so maybe so. Uh, maybe I should just give you a quick look at the place. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is Thank the kitchen you. over here. How long ago did you start building? About seven months. Uh -huh. What? So it really went fast. Okay. Because all the money I had, I threw in the house. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I have no money left. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a house, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. You know, we just, um, I'm trying to put some plants together. You know, I'm using a generator for electricity. Okay. Uh, because they, they're just posting the electrical posts. Ah, uh, so okay, okay, okay. I have okay, no okay. electricity, but I have a generator. And okay. I, I hook it up just to keep things cool in my fridge, basically. Mm -hmm. I like to light up over here at night and in my room. And so, stuff. so there's no AC here? 
No, it is cool. Yeah, yeah, most people say that. It's not Yeah, no, yeah. It's cool. And it defines not running. Yeah, it's but we have um Yes. Are you okay? Lay. <laughs> and um, so this is the uh, living room area, mm-hmm. and my chandelier is always. Have to highlight this, right? Yeah, so this is the room. We have two rooms down here. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one behind you over there, but uh, oh, this is and, uh, yeah, this is one room. Basically, this is a like a guest house, like yes. a Airbnb. Yes. So if anybody wants to come to stay here, yes, it, it, that's it, a great. We got rooms down here and upstairs would be a great bathroom. So that's the idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, go in the bathroom. See what it looks it's like. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh. The ceiling, those lights here. Mm. What is it? They call it what? TNG. What is it, Jay? What is that? What is that? I don't even know the meaning. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but when we go to the market, you say TNG, they would just give it. They're very light, light yeah. material. So it's it's pasted. It's not wood. No, it's, it's like it's like this way. It's it's it's, it's hard plastic. It's hard plastic like this. Plastic, yes. Yeah. So oh, they just fix it by yeah. section. Yeah, yes. section. Just put very it. Light. Light. Oh, okay. So you know they have guys who can put it together like that. Okay. okay. And you just choose the design and. Actually, I've only seen. Two or three designs. Yeah, there are a lot of different designs. So the one that you want, you just pick oh, it and then... Oh. Okay. He introduced me ever since to it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, of course, this Definitely is my room. Your, it's it's too untidy, man. And you don't have to clean yours. It's the same thing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And now... But you know, in nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, everything I found right in here in a stable. <laughs> <laughs> or Cape Coast. Yeah, Cape Coast. I just yeah, yeah. around, man. Yeah, nothing, nothing was important. Everything, no, is, everything is was important already. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but it is on the market. Okay. Do you want to come? Okay, guys. All right. It's a big family. Visiting Mr. Lane. Mm-hmm. So maybe I should start explaining. Over here is on
change was uh, genuine enough to that uh, it's more and now it's going to be a cause of the same thing. The next move would be to become a citizen. citizen yes, yes. And then you can vote and do all the rest. Yes, yes. So this area is only for black people. Yes. Pan African. Pan African people. Uh, but I understand. Yes. The only Pan African people can buy and own in the land. The persons may be able to tell you more. But um, if you're married to a Caucasian, right? Like your wife or your husband is. They can come and live with you or visit you or whatever. But they themselves can come and purchase. And purchase. Yeah. And who set that that mm -hmm. um, principle? I think it's uh, the presidency. The presidency? Okay. Yeah, it's coming from the top. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the chief dancing. That has decided that it's Pan African. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. right. Yeah. Yes. That's right. So all the land around you here is already taken? Yeah, phase one is gone. All that they're looking at here is taken. They've been bought up by people from the United States, Canada, Jamaica, the Caribbean, Europe, and all that. So if you come now, you, you'll be going further. Further down. That's why you've been showing us. Phase two. That's the phase that you showed us over there. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm 